Hello everybody, this is Stephen Hankins, having a morning coffee fly tying session. <clears throat> Today I'm going to show you how to tie my quail wing betas, size 24. Start off with a little beeswax on the thread. Find the wax gives a little bit more control and a little bit more grip on the thread. <clears throat> so we'll start off in the usual manner. Tail is going to be lighting, CDL, and dark pardo. So, for size 24, I use four fibers. As I go up in size, I'll use more fibers. So, technique pull the stem away from the fiber rather than the fiber away from the stem. That just helps keep your tips aligned. Okay. Now for the quail feathers, California quail, the neck feathers are just gorgeous. And great winging materials. So what we're going to do is we're going to align the feathers and we want the feathers to splay apart. Okay. So once we have the feathers kind of where we want them, grasp them firmly in your offhand. And strip away the fluff at the base of the feathers. Doesn't have to be perfect at this point. There can still be some junk on the stems. Okay, that's good enough. So, snip away the stems. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to straddle the hook with the stems. Take a loose securing wrap. Thread tension is everything here. Now carefully and tightly work your thread backwards. Okay. <clears throat> clean up a little bit. Now next step is we're going to stand up the wings and to do that we're just going to put a few wraps of thread directly behind them. Okay, that's pretty good. Now for the body, I use 
super fine and olive. <clears throat> and all we want is literally just a wisp of dubbing. You don't need much. As AK says, just enough to color the thread. Okay. Now for the hackle. Using whiting, midge, white, dyed, dark, done. You can, I'll show you what that, what that's all about. See how many fibers are in that hackle. It's good stuff. This is towards the end of a feather. And I don't know, I might have tied eight or nine flies so far with this one saddle feather. So we'll peel away the fibers from the stem. I'm gonna clean up behind that wing just a little bit more. Okay. Now. Okay, so here, I'll show you a technique to get the <clears throat> feather, the hackle feather, to lay as you want it. So, let's say we have it, so if we wrap it like this, it's going to face the wrong way. So, in order to manipulate how you want the hackle to lay, we'll take this side of the feather in our hands securely. And we'll start a wrap. And so now we've just angled the feather the way that we want it. tie off clean up Now we'll do a hand whip finish. Okay. 
And there we have a size 24 quail wing betas. It's a good pattern, good profile. And you can see it's basically just a collar hackle dry fly, but with the addition of those California quail neck feathers to make that wing. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Learned a few techniques for tying small stuff. Thank you.